Well, here's some new video just into our newsroom from Lille, France. Scuffles breaking out tonight between Russian and English fans ahead of Russia's next match at Euro 2016. All of this happening on the heels of news that Russia will be kicked out of this tournament if their fans cause any more trouble inside any stadiums. All of this began when uh, Russian fans attacked their English counterparts at a game in Marseille. And Omar Dubagi Pacheco is here with more on this growing dispute. And yeah, violent images that we're seeing from the right now. This all began on Saturday, uh, and I want to show you some images. They're disturbing. So, warning to our viewers, you're about to see something get a little bit dis disturbing. These are images from before the game even started. This is in Marseille before that game on Saturday. Uh, clashes between English fans and Russian fans. And what you're seeing is POV footage, point of view footage from a GoPro style camera on what appears to be a Russian fan. And keep in mind, this is before the game even started. Well, cut to the game on Saturday, England versus Russia. It was a tie, and at the end, here's what happened inside that stadium. After the game, Russian fans began assaulting English fans. That violence then spilled out into the streets altogether over the course of those few days. 35 people injured, dozens of people arrested, and a few detentions. At one point, there was a, a busload of Russian fans, 43 of them, leaving Marseille, and riot police actually surrounded that bus, detained every person in that bus, and even deported a couple dozen of them uh, out of France. So all of that sort of escalating tensions. Well, the Union of European Football Associations today came down hard against the Russian club, uh, saying basically they have to pay 150,000 euros as a fine. And they also face what's called a suspended disqualification. And what that means is that one more in-stadium riot and Russia, they say they can kick Russia out of the Euro Cup. And the reason that's important is because the in-stadium fact of that is that they can only uh, basically punish Russia because of what happened inside that stadium. Russians, though, today saying, uh, you know, they are blaming the organizers for not being able to contain these kinds of clashes and also for saying there's not enough barriers between fans inside those stadiums. Take a listen to what the uh, organizers' response to that. Uh, we are aware that there were some concerns regarding the stewarding and security inside the Stade Velodrome and we received a letter from the English Football Association to this effect. We will implement additional corrective measures uh, for the games coming up in Lens and Lille, and we hope that those measures will be sufficient to avoid any other crowd trouble during the matches. You know, these kinds of tournaments should be a celebration of this sport. Fans from all over the world, and particularly from Europe, of course, converging for these games, and how safe are they? Well, that was one of the criticisms, I think, that we heard from, from the Russians is that, look, this is all happening inside the stadiums, and, but it's spilling out onto the streets. Clearly a bigger problem. Uh, what they're doing to keep these future matches safe, because the next match is on Wednesday, Russia versus Slovakia, and there's already, as, you, as we saw earlier, clashes happening on the ground. So what they've implemented are a ban on alcohol uh, containers. So that's metals and glass containers that would be capable of transporting beer because they're seeing a lot of people throwing those things at other people and hitting people with them. The other thing, they've deployed 4,000 altogether soldiers, military and security personnel. They're going to be on the streets. We've already heard uh, unconfirmed reports of some arrests already today. And that, in a sense, is, is all that they've been able to do so far. All right, Omar. Thank you. Okay.